How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Maple Farm. We're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, Welcome to Maple Farm. This is a fictional Irish map that offers vast amounts of forestry as well as arable farming with multiple farms spread around the map for those who like to spread out or play multiplayer. Farmyards are fully customizable, so you can demolish all, demolish all sheds and barns, cut away all hedges, trees, and remove all walls, fences, and gates. There are 128 fields, all include missions and seven farms. 128 fields of all shapes and sizes, small spotlights near barns point to the barn wall or and or fence, which will are removed when you cut the lights. Cuttable hedges to expand or connect fields or cut to open up the land. All production chains of the base game are spread across the map. Seven farms, six, seven farms, six farms have livestock and the seventh has an arable farm. All farms are spread across the map. Fully customizable farm facility in a modular environment. Also known as a farm is as farm is separated by from barns gives you the opportunity to expand your farm when you are ready to work with these animals. Note that you need to buy the pastures for each barn before the triggers appear. Twenty cartridges are scattered around the map for you to find. The map is precision farming ready and uses all custom, uh, uses a custom soil map. There are some large forest areas on the map, as well as some much smaller plots. Free water can be found at the lake in the south of the map. All base game products can be sold at multiple outlets. AI splines can be found on the map to make it easier to hire helpers to move around. There's been several changes made to this map, and we're going to start with change log 1.1.0.0. Manure heap now fixed made purchasable with land. Floating tree at lake now fixed. Some terrain modifications. Precision farming ready. And then there's change log 1.2.0.0. Fixed karma 18 position. Fixed manure clamp clipping into feeding robot. Fixed silage clamps. Minor terrain fixes. Fixed floating trees also moved some trees to improve visibility in both first and third person views. Distributed Disturb Simulations UK Growth Calendar Implemented. Added a floodlight to all houses if cut will re remove said house and all items around it. All land with the playable area now purchasable. Large animal pens will increase capacities for animals, milk, slurry, and food added to the build menu. 11 sheds added to, to in-game build menu. Stone wall and hedges added to in-game build menu. Some XML files updated to use functions introduced in the 1.5 patch, such as storage bins having the ability to jump to them. Added ability to cut a light at the garage to remove all deco trees, oak, birch, etc., leaving only forest trees to cut down. Added the ability to cut a light at the garage to remove all field-based hedges if you wish rather than cut each section away. Hedges around pastures will not only remove but can be cut away if the land is owned. Some trees replaced with more common Irish trees such as elm and all spruce trees replaced with pine trees. Placeables Placeable areas are added for you to purchase and use as you see fit. Posts inside hedges made collidable. This will stop the posts dropping through the map after it has been cut away. Hedges can still be driven through, but will stop bales, pallets, and logs from passing through them. Five new fields added, as well as multiple fields size extended. Production points storage capacities increase for both inputs and output produ uh, produce. PDA update which improves dirt road visibility. Then there's change log 1.2.0.1. Fix issues with some trees which cause games to crash. Fix VGA so as larger storage capacity. New save game required for this change to take effect. Fix some hedges floating. Uh, descent mountain changed. 
foliage updated for dirt tracks, cell points names updated, background switched out and detailing added, cow barns in the northwest and southwest farms have the have blah, blah, blah. cow barns in the northwest and southwest farms now have a capacity for 1,000 cows. Bailing contracts now fixed, PDA updated, such sneaks relight environment implemented. For PC and Mac players, the game is now Graze Mod ready. And then lastly, change log, change log 1.3.0.0, Enel Pen's food capacity updated to Maze Plus, Alien Jim's right hand drive traffic. Not this, note, this is save game compatible. This map was created by Cavalier Roy and is 213.93 megabytes to download. There are no mods required for this map, and if we take a look, this is what the map looks like. Lots, gonna, uh, lots going on here, and this is going to get very busy looking very, very fast. So what we're going to do is we start here at the main shop area down in kind of the south middle portion of the map, kind of southeastish maybe. And what we're going to do is we're going to take in some of these areas here first, and then we're going to walk up to the biogas and then to the main farm. So there's going to be a little bit of walking and, and cutting through some fields to get to where we need to go. But we've got some things to cover first. Animal pens. You do start out with several, as you can see here. Sheep barn, cow barn with feeding robot. That's nice. You actually have two of those. Chicken coop and horse barn. There are contracts available on this map. You do not start out with any production chains, and there are collectibles, 20 of them to be precise. There are mods specific to this map. If we first look under the build, uh, buy menu, nothing under here. But under the build menu, this is where it gets really interesting. So you can see, look at all these mods that are in place. Tons of sheds, nothing under silos, nothing under silo extensions, you got one here for the lime station for the containers, nothing under tools, and nothing under farmhouses. Under productions and factories, you do have several here. Look at this. Spinnery. Yeah, basically a, an updated model for each of the base game uh, production points here. Nothing under cell points, nothing greenhouses, orchards, and generators I installed the government subsidies because I needed some extra money because we're going to be buying quite a bit around here you'll see once we get there under cows you'll see cow barn large for a thousand thousand cows that's yeah that's going to be epic and then cow barn with feeding robots so that's nice uh, nothing under horses you do have one for pigs with a thousand pigs sheep again thousand sheep you can have tons and tons of animals. Thousand chickens. Nothing under bees and nothing under others. Under decorations, scroll over to the right. You do have hedges, the brick wall, as well as the old walls. Under lights, nothing. Under others, nothing. And this is one of the few maps where I actually have seen something under fences. It's very rare that you actually see something there, which is kind of cool. It's, it's not something you get to see, and it's breathtaking. Not breathtaking, but you almost stammer when you see that, hey, there was something there. Uh, under landscaping and painting, tons and tons of painting swatches available. That's really nice. Then under trees, nothing under trees. And nothing under plants so yeah quite a bit of mods built into this map very very nice so we start here at the repair trigger and the shop trigger you can see here repair trigger and the repair box right there shop trigger way over here and then over here Come around to this side. You have Hodge's gas station right here. Run around here. You have the sugar mill. For 80000 you can purchase this. Outputs right here and inputs was in the back. We just walked past. Over here. 
Let's see. Nope. Over here first. Biomass heating plant right here with the cell wood trigger right here. Then over here is the grain elevator cell point right in there. You have your debris crusher over in the corner right over there. So now we're going to run across the street. And like I said, we're going to do a little bit of running at first because we spawn here at the shop area. I could, you know, purchase a truck or something like that, but we've got transportation at the farm and it's not too terribly far. Oop, not there. Right here. So right here is the biogas plant. And you can purchase this for $150,000. Not too bad for a biogas plant. You know what? We got the money, so let's go ahead and do it. This is modified, if I remember seeing in the descriptions, for the inputs and outputs to be changed. So the volumes at which it can uh, store is different. So standard uh, intakes that, that most biogas plants take, but this one has higher capacities. You have your solid input here, uh, liquid, oh, you know what, we'll go back over here. You got another solid input right here. So you got two kind of bunks that you can load into. And then around the back side here, you have your liquid digestate output right here. And then your liquid inputs right back here. And now we're going to run through here. <clears throat> And right in front of us, you can start to see, is our starting farm. So once we get into the yard there, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our starting equipment. Now, one thing I will point out before we get there, you see this kind of pole right here. This, if you take a chainsaw and cut this down, and you know what? Here, I'll show you. I'll just go ahead and buy a chainsaw. Why not? Uh, do, do, do. Okay, under the tools, ch nope, chainsaws. We'll get a still why not nope oh no I jumped away wrong button nope need to go this way we'll go to a fence where I was heading to originally right over here so all right so if we bring out our chainsaw, we find one of those kind of stumps. There we go. You can see my little green and blue reticle pops up. If I crouch down, chop, and there you go. And now you've got a chunk of wood right there. So you could go and use this and sell it, but now it opens up. So that's a cool, very, very nice uh feature to have. So right here, this is our starting farm, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at our starting equipment. If we go into the buy menu under owned items, we get quite a bit as you can see, quite a good selection here. So small tractors, we have a Fent Barrio 314, Massey Ferguson 5S145, and a uh, Bauer, Bre Brewer, 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 6105. Under medium tractors, the Veltra Velmet 8750, the Kloss Torian 1511 wheel loader. Under cars, the Lizard Pickup 18, 1986, Stone Pickers, the Elho Scorpio 550, Subsoilers, the K Brand DC 401. Under Cedars, the, it's basically the front end tank, the K Brand TF 1512. You can use that for seeds and. Uh, Fertilizer. You know what? That just dawned on me. We don't actually have a, a cedar to start out with. Huh. That literally just dawned on me. Anyways, fertilizer spreaders. We have the Braydell K105 as well as the Amazon ZATS3200. Grass care equipment. We have the Delbo Maxi Roll 630 Green Line. 
mowers, we have the K-Brand GMD 8730FF and the K-Brand GMD 3123F. So you got the rear deck folding mowers and the front deck mower. Under tetters, you have a Vicon Fanex 904. Under wind rowers, the Samaz Z2840H. Under forage wagons, the Pottinger Boss Alpine 251. Under balers, you have the Baby Baler Massey Ferguson 1840. So it makes the little itty bitty 120 centimeter bales, which is kind of cool sometimes. But you also have this guy, the Arcusian multi-pack d14 so this is your kind of bale stacker it'll take 14 bales and boop, 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 boop and build up kind of a mega baby bale and the chainsaw was one i just purchased so not a big deal this is not part of the starting equipment front loaders the howard 8 xb 150 under front loader tools the albert bale spike under wheel loader tools the albert silage fork the low loaders you have the Bremier transport wagon tp 500 s and weights you have the 10 winkle pack 750 a pair of those and that is it so you got pretty good starting equipment right off the bat very very nice right here behind me you got your truck right there and you got a wardrobe trigger so that's nice and over here sleep trigger little doggy dog house right there and then we will come up through here I actually need to scroll up on my notes. Okay. Uh, wait, I missed something. I did miss something. Ha ha ha. Right here you have the chicken barn, chicken coop. You can have up to 600 chickens in here. Whew. Good start. Good start right here. You have your feed input right there and your output for your eggs right back here. Over here is the start of your one of your cow barns with feeding robot. And you have your slurry output right here. You have your mineral feed input here. And your individual compartments for your uh, TMR mix goes in here. So you have your silage here, your straw here, and your hay here. And you just load your individual components, your, t uh, your mineral feed in here. And then at the top of every hour, the robot goes and feeds your animals for you, all your cows get topped off or you can load in right here if you so choose then back here is the animal dialog box where you can have up to 850 that's right I said it 850 cows Whew. straw goes in here and your milk right in here back here uh, yes, back here is your liquid fertilizer tank where you have a purchase point right here and it can have up to 173,500 uh, 173, liters of liquid fertilizer. Whew, that's a lot of fertilizer. You got a fuel tank right back here and again can purchase into this 10,000 liters. Uh, let's see, fuel tank, yep. Over here you have a silo with a manure heap right next to us and another cow barn which the trigger nope on the other side and i believe it's another 850 no this one's smaller this one is smaller this one is 700 cows so you figure between the two you have oh 1550 cows that's yeah you you, you got a pretty good cow farm going Let's see, do, 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 do. just making sure I'm heading in the right direction. I think this is right. Yes, right here you have a sheep barn where you can have up to 500 sheep. So pretty nice. Now what is really cool, I, just something that dawned on me. All these are the base game uh, buildings and barns, right? That's That's one thing but they're all attached to these custom kind of fields out here so each of your animals you know what there look at that so even though it's the 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 original base game you have this custom field and you can get into each and every one of these fields you can take care of the grass work and all that stuff so you got your entry point right here same thing with the cows like if i go back to the cows just real quick 
because that I feel is kind of an important little key feature to all of these pens because all of them have their own little grass area for each of the animals it's actually very nice again your gate for it is right here if I buy 60 cows look at that they all just kind of roam all throughout the pasture and again base game equipment base cow barn which normally I would have an issue with that but the fact that it's attached to a custom field that just is next level awesome it makes it feel fresh and again it makes it feel like it's not base right here you have a karma 16 which holds either seed or mineral feed over here you have a horse pasture with up to 16 horses that can fit into it and again they're going to run around the, that little back field over there so again super super cool and you've got tons of storage in your starting farm again an entryway right here you've got tons of barns and buildings places for you to hold out and got a, a bunker silo right here some of your starting equipment back here no, oh, there's your bale stacker right there and your mower decks. Like you, you got so much to start out with. This this is a very, very nice starting farm. Very well equipped and very another bunker silo right here, by the way. A lot of equipment, a lot of storage. That's the one thing that I find on some maps where if you're given a lot of starting equipment, you don't get, have the equal amount of storage available for that equipment or the opposite happens is where you have tons of storage but no starting equipment this one kind of gives you a little best of both worlds scenario which is really nice now we're going to go ahead and take off from here head down the driveway and head out to the main road out here Whoa, I forgot we're driving on the wrong side. Well, not wrong side, but the opposite side that I'm used to. All right, so coming up to my right is kind of our starting position. That's where the shop and repair trigger and all that stuff was. And again, to my left now is the biogas. So that's where we ran across after the shop there. I feel like I missed something. Did I miss something? Oh, okay. That's okay. I remember now. Sorry, I on my notes I had something that just it didn't seem in order, and that's because I came out all the way to the edge of the map and then swept back so I, I confused myself please <laughs> please ignore that <laughs> oh man all right so what I'm gonna do is once we get up to this point of interest right here and I just about drove past it right here okay take a look at the map so we started right here at this kind of building right here we saw the repair trigger, the shop trigger, the gas station, the Hodges gas station, the sugar mill, the biomass heating plant, the grain elevator, and debris crusher. We then came across the street to the biogas plant, and then we toured the entirety of the farm. And again, such an awesome starting farm. We got the sleep trigger and, uh, no, sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger, the chicken coop, the fertilizer tank, the cow barn, manure heap, the uh, nope, that's the liquid tank, the gas tank, the silo, another manure heap, another uh, cow barn, sheep barn, uh, karma 16, and horse barn. So again, very very nice. Then we drove out of the starting farm all the way around and down to here, where we are at. This is the bakery. You can buy this for fifty thousand dollars and you have your input right there and your output right there and we'll pull out of here and 
then next, coming up right here to my left, hop over. This back here is the Maypole Exports cell point right there. So heading back to the truck. And now we head to our second farm on the map. And when I tell you that these farms, I think, are set up so brilliantly, not just like the actual like way the farms are set up, but just how, whoops, I passed it. Just how you have to go about purchasing them, I think, is brilliant. Just such a cool idea and concept. So farm number two. Typically what I would do is take a look at the map, which I'm going to. <laughs> so bakery, the maple exports, then up to here. Now, if you take a look at the map, you can see there are several areas on this map where it's kind of encompassing the farm. But if we buy just this kind of area here, so if you buy uh, farmland number 184 for $1,569, you'll see nothing pops up. No sleep triggers are available on this particular farm. You're just buying that plot there. Let's buy the next one. Farmland number 123 for 46,120. Well, now you get some triggers that pop up. Okay, okay, that's cool. But you have 152 back here. Well, why is that? Well, 1,980. Chicken coop. Okay, okay, so we're, we're kind of building the farm. 151. Well, check that out. Pigsty just appeared. Again, 151 for $31,699. What about farmland 153 for $24,810? Oh, hey, now we got a horse barn. So again, this just keeps going and going and going. Like uh, 150 right here. Whoops, that was what? $47,090? Oh, well, hey, now we have a cow barn. How about right here? Farmland 154, $37,280. A sheep barn. You just, now let's take a look at 124. Oh, no, nothing there because that's just a field. So what's amazing about this is you can buy the main farm kind of thing, and that gives you kind of access to some of the triggers here. But you have to purchase then all the subsequent surrounding areas to have the full farm in effect. The cows, the sheep, the chickens, the pigs, and the horses that were at this location did not pop up until we bought those separate farmlands. So this particular farmland is encompassing farmland numbers 123, 150, 152, I'm sorry, 150, 151, 152, 153, and 154. So you can see all of them right here. 184, we'll deselect that because there's nothing on that one. So now that there's all the kind of points that are highlighted, let's take a look at what we have. So starting out at the front here, did I pass by? I think I went in the wrong direction. I meant to go this way. Okay. Over here, we have another uh, Karma 16. Again, this is seed and mineral feed. Fuel tank right there. Manure heap right here. A cow barn right here and this one holds 800 cows now again these are all kind of stock standard uh, barns and pens the only thing that you're really gonna see different not necessarily layouts of them um, but the volume of animals that are at each right here you have 500 sheep and I don't think I mentioned it but input for sheeps right there and output for wool right there and was it over here? You have another uh, bunker silo right here. You have another liquid silo right here uh, for liquid fertilizer. Another solid fertilizer tank right here. And back here, you have a chicken coop right there. Oops, it was 500 chickens. 
back over here. You have another manure heap right there. Pig barn right here for 700 pigs. And then lastly, a horse barn right here for 16 horses. Now, one thing I'm going to do just really fast is, again, there was a note in the uh, description that these farms have these kind of light poles. Now, what I'm going to do is cut this one down just to illustrate what happens. Bam. Look at all those brick f fencing that was all around here is now gone. So if you don't like the fencing or you want to kind of make it more of a, a pasture or whatever, you can do that. And now you have this kind of gate that's left open here. Well, come here. Can I delete it? There it goes. You just go to demolish and you can delete it. And now you have yourself an open pasture. And if you want, check it out. Your horses are now out there running free. They have an open pasture. You can... You can just uh, go back in and you can put up different uh, border fence or, or whatever you want to do. Like if you want to really kind of customize this farm, you can. It, all these things are deletable and, and replaceable. That it, These are so, I think the description in the mod hub said modular. And that's probably like the perfect description. Now you can see each one of these uh, poles will remove these stone kind of fences around the farms. So if uh, you want to remove those stones, that's how you do it. But yeah, each one of these farms are just so completely modular. They're so uh, customizable that, yeah, I mean, you can you could literally just blow them out completely and then just start something new if you want. Just you don't have to do it at all if you just want the blank bare property and do. Oh, I need to go this way. And just do whatever you want to do you can do it that's why this map is so unique in that sense is that it gives you the ability to really open it up if you want and oh i'm on the wrong side of the road again really open it up and really make it your own while i mean and if you don't want to do that you don't have to do that that's the great thing about it too is if you just want to come on and just play then you can do that too Oops. And I just ran into the pole that's buried in there. And then go in this direction. So now we're approaching the back side of farm number three, as I call it. Because it's the third farm I came across when doing my original walkthrough. So, let's get to kind of an opening here. Love how this is just kind of tucked in back here. That's so, so cool to, it, to me. That's such a great concept. Now, come in here. So we were here at farm number two, came up and around. I believe it was up to here, then down here. Nope, nope. I completely whiffed that one. Right down here to here to all the way down and around to here. Now, this is going to require us to purchase farmlands number, let's see, 99, 97, uh, 40. 98 and 109 I don't think 95 was a part of that as well nope so yeah 109 99 97 40 and 98 are all on this farm and from here we are going to go in this direction so starting with our pig barn where you can have up to a thousand pigs that's huge. That's just that's just huge. Uh, manure heap right there. Karma 16 right there. Again, seed and uh, mineral feed. Horse barn with 16 horses. Fuel tank right there. 
you have your sheep barn right here for 700 sheep go over to uh nope 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 nope, nope. over there you have your silo now over here liquid fertilizer storage solid fertilizer storage another sheep barn with a thousand sheep so this is a huge sheep uh, farm right here if you want to do sheep this is the one you go for because you're gonna have what what was it 1700 sheep let me take a look at my notes uh, yeah 700 and a thousand so 1700 sheep in this one farm alone so if you want to do wool production that this is it this is the farm for you and make a right run over the deer head up this direction Okay, from this point, take a left. Let me look at my notes just whoops. At my notes real quick. Yes, so in this direction. Now I'll make another left. Get around this car. Then over here, make another left. All right, now tuck back here in these woods. Here you have the grain mill for 96,000. You can purchase this. Inputs here, outputs there. And behind me is the cereal factory. Right there for 110,000, you can purchase this. Inputs and outputs. Now we turn them back around. make a left oh man i uh, i don't know why but my brain just keeps wanting to revert to american driving i'm just so used to driving on the right side of the road that it just will not compute that hey this isn't supposed to be an irish map all right so right here is the animal dealer you can come here purchase your animals directly from this location and have them simulated to be delivered to that to whatever location you choose and the, the unfortunate part with the way that they have this set up is that if you have multiple pens and pastures with the same name it's going to be really difficult to distinguish well hey this is cow barn with feeding robot well this is also cow barn with feeding robot this is also cow barn feeding robot which one is which now each one of them is numbered um it's kind of yeah, see, it really, there's really no good way to distinguish which one of these is which, with the exception of what order did you purchase or plant each one of these in. So you got to kind of remember that in the background. But you can purchase from here, and you have the delivery fee associated to this transaction because of the uh, because of them actually delivering to your location. Now you can also purchase from the pens and pastures that you have placed right there on the spot. And if you do that, you still have that delivery fee associated to that transaction. So that delivery fee, depending on what animal you're getting, and in reality, because you have pens here that have up to a thousand capacity, you're going to spend a ton of money. The best bet to save that money is to buy or rent a animal trailer, come to this location, and load directly into it. That's going to be your best bet, and you're going to save tons and tons of money from there. We have the uh, Bales Market sell point. And then here we have the Farmer's Market sell point. Now we'll head out this way. Yeah, over here. So 
back here is the spinnery. And the trigger is right back here. You can purchase this, whoops, for $60,000 and your inputs and outputs were right on the other side. Right over here. Uh, let's go this way and... Okay, the next is right here. This is going to be farm number four. And what we need to do is kind of see where we've been and what we've seen. So we were here at farm number three. We then pulled back out, came down and around to here where we saw the grain mill as well as the cereal factory. We then came here to the animal dealer, the bales market sell point, and farmer's market sell point. We then came and saw the uh, spinnery. And that just, I just realized that the sawmill is down there and it's not in my notes. So we're going to have to backtrack to that one. Can't forget. So farmland number, or I'm sorry, farm number four includes farmland numbers 146, 147, 148, 149, and 45. So 146, 147, 148, 149, and 45. There we go. And there it goes. And you can see we do have a house way down here. So let's go ahead and check that out. So over here, you have a sleep trigger right here. There's the driveway. You have another uh, cow barn with robot. A manure heap right here. And the cow barn holds 1,000 cows. You have a solid fertilizer uh, tank right here. Another Karma 16 seeds and mineral feed right there. Uh, over here, two, 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 yes, over here. You have a silo, the Pharma 800, so 800,000 liters. Fuel tank, you got a liquid fertilizer tank right here. You have a horse barn for 16 horses. A bunker silo right there, around here. And again, every one of these farms, nope, that's not where I meant to go. Through the bunker silo is where I meant to go. Just, I was going to say that all these farms have massive amounts of storage, so you're not going to run out of space very easily. You've got to, you got to work like a champ to fill all these farms up. Thousand chickens for this chicken coop, and 800 sheep for this pasture. And I think, yes, that is it for this farm, farm number four. So we're going to hop back in the truck, we're going to pull a U-turn, and continue heading down. Whoops. Let's see. Clicking buttons, I need to stop. There we go. So down here... We have the uh, great processing unit for 80,000. You can purchase this and you have your inputs here and your outputs right here. And now we need to go find that silo or the, the sawmill because I don't have that on my notes. I don't know how I didn't record it for some reason. Let's see. I I think, if I remember right, the entrance, is it back here? Yes, and then back, is it back here? Yes, here we go, okay, this, yep, yep, that's right. So come back here. And right here. 
So you have your sawmill where you can purchase this for $100,000. You have your outputs for your productions right here. Your output for wood chips right there. Your inputs right here with your wood cell trigger right there. Now we can head to the next point of interest. goodness car I think I can head in this direction here and follow this along the side whoops cutting through somebody's field that's my bad We need to make a right. And then a left will take us to our next farm. This is going to be farm number five. We can pull in right in the back over here. So hop out. We were at farm number four, where we then took in the grid processing unit, came back to the sawmill over there. Uh, yes, and then came up to, I believe it was about right here, and then came north to this road here. We're back, nope, I, okay, it was, it was before, so it was about right here, actually. Yeah, you can barely see it in the... Uh, map here up to here and then came over up to this back part here so for this farm we need to purchase farmlands number 9 55 159 and 160 so 55 9 160 and 159 and you know what it just occurred to me i haven't been saying prices have i oh I'm sorry about that. So we'll go back. Here's farm number three, because I remember saying it for farm number two. Uh, plot 97, $12,050. Uh, 99, uh, 37,100. Uh, 40 is 53,480. 109, one, 31,169. And 98, 99,560. Over to farm number four. Okay, yeah, that one, we didn't need 166. Okay. Plot 45 is 63,849, 48,420, uh, 4,830, 59,770, and 32,940. And now back to our current farm that we're at. We've got 5,410, 20,270, 13,500, and 31,700. 80. So in reality, like you can get a lot of these farms and farmlands for relatively cheap. These farms are not that expensive. Some can get up there once you tally up all the individual components, but because each component is buyable separately, you can buy it as you need to. You don't have to buy it all at once, which is really nice. So farm number five, the first thing we see here is our silo over here do, 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 do. why are my okay right here you have a sheep barn with 700 sheep over here keep turning keep turning you got a fuel tank right there oh there's the okay i missed this one I, in my notes it said seed mineral uh, silo and i missed it karma 16 silo right here Back around the corner over here, you have a solid fertilizer tank right there. 
aka a silo. Over here, you have another sheep barn, or no, this is a horse barn right here for 16 horses. The horse barn and the sheep barn look very similar until you get right up to them. A uh, thousand chickens for this coop right here, and then a liquid fertilizer tank right there, and another sleep trigger right here. Again, tons and tons of storage. Even though this is a smaller, smaller in air quotes farm, um, it's still got tons of places to store equipment. Tons of places for you to be able to, you know, knock them down, expand if you so choose. I mean, do whatever because this 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 map, this whole map is just so customizable. It's it's in some ways it's really really nice, but in some other ways. It's almost a little intimidating, but I mean, it's a challenge and I, and I love that kind of challenge to feel that kind of, oh man, what can I do with this? What can I do with that kind of thing? And yeah, it might be a little intimidating, might be a little overwhelming at, whoa, a little overwhelming at times, but it's also kind of a, a rush, kind of a thrill to be able to, to do that. Let's see, wait for this clearing. All right, to my left. You have the dairy. Pull in here, and it's right around the back side here for 70,000. You can make that yours. You have your outputs right here, and your inputs are on the back over there. And then on the other side, you have the carpentry, where you can buy that for $60,000. And you have your inputs right here with your wood cell trigger right there, and your outputs along the back side. Keep heading in this direction. Pull in here. And around the back side, you have the supermarket sell point right there. Now we're coming up on the next farm, farm number six, which is right here. So for farm number six, we were here at farm number five, pulled back out, went up and around, saw the dairy as well as the carpentry, came up to here, we saw the supermarket, and now we're here looking at this farm. So for this one, we need farm lens, farm lens number 34, 54, 34, 54, and 87. So 34, 54, and 87. So 34 is 26,840, 54 is 81,200, and 87, 28,380. So now you can see all the triggers are back up. So from here, we have manure heap right there we have a pig pasture pig pig sty with 600 pig capacity around this side here we have a silo again another pharma 800 we have a liquid fertilizer no solid fertilizer tank right there on this side another fuel tank we have a liquid fertilizer right there and then a cow barn with feeding robot and a manure heap in the back and the cow capacity 1000 so if you were to buy all these farms you're literally having the capacity of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of each type of animal it is insane the amount of animals that you could have roaming around this map i don't know if for consoles there's like an animal limit or if it you know starts to interfere with the amount of processing oh and there's a, a bunker silo right there completely completely passed over that 
but I don't know if it starts affecting it, the game in any way for console players. I, I have no idea. All right, next farm I believe is right here. Yes, right here. Whoa. Here's the driveway. And what you need for this one is farmland number 68. We were right here, scooting up. 67, sorry, farmland 67 for 19,790. And now, not only do we have triggers popped up here, but we also have a farmhouse that popped up down the road. So, what we're gonna do first is check out over here. Starting with a fuel tank and a liquid fertilizer tank. Another silo right here. Another Pharma 800. A solid fertilizer tank right there. And a Karma 16. Again, seed and mineral feed silo. Uh, da -da -da -da, just looking through my notes really fast. Nope, that looks about right. And then just on the other side of this field, field 61 is another house with another sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger right here so wardrobe trigger just like our starting farm is here and sleep trigger if i can hop up is right there and we are rapidly approaching the end here just got a little bit more to go oh, 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 oh. i just drove right past it nope all right, wardrobe trigger right here in front of me. And the tailor shop, $100,000 will purchase this with the inputs right here and your outputs around the backside over here. Now we're at our last point of interest. Just down the road here to my right Right here is the oil mill. Your inputs and output are right here. And your trigger is right here. For $80,000, you can purchase this. And that is the end of the tour. That is Maple Farms. Now we're to the point of where I render my opinion. What do I think of Maple Farms? I'm not going to beat around the bush on this one. I love this map. This is so, so cool. It is so customizable. You can do just about anything that you want to this. You can expand out your fields. You can cut down the, tr the hedges. You can literally turn this into whatever it is that you want. So the sky is the limit and your imagination is the only limiting factor in this one. And there's tons of forestry, tons of things to do. You have placeable areas. You do have a big placeable area here in the north. You got tons of forestry up here. Oh, that's something I didn't do is show the various field prices. So yeah, I'll uh, click through on several of these. 47,000, 60,000, 82,000, 62,000, 70,000. So the field prices are not bad. And you've got a good wider range of sizes. 20,000 right there. You have 27,000, 40, oh, uh, 26,000. Then the forest area is 272,000. You got a little one right here for 41,000. You've got the pond and uh, pond area right over here uh, for 75,000. Then you got this little forest area up here, 169, 425. So if you want, I mean, the sky's the limit, guys. The sky is the limit. You can do just about anything to this map. You can do just about. So, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a sort of game crash? Sort of? It didn't actually crash and I was able to shut down and... Not shut down, but... Go to, like, the standby menu for the, for the console and then bring it back up and I was able to come back in just fine. So, as I was saying, this map, fully customizable. The color palette is spectacular. There's maybe a little bit too much color in the ways of the flowers and stuff as they're all over the map but that's such a minor thing really um 
I mean, overall, just the customization of this map, the ability to make it your own, to, to do pretty much everything. It's got all the base game uh, stuff, which, again, normally I would kind of mark that stuff down, um, having base game kind of stuff. But what I always say about if there's going to be base game uh, buildings and productions and things like that is our the map maker going to go in and do something that's unique with it are they going to add decorations or in this case are they going to increase capacities are they going to uh make custom fields like like uh, the map maker did here i mean this is spectacular all the stuff that has been done in and around this map and you can see all these little customizable little cutting points for these spotlights are here so just all in all fantastic map i give this a solid solid five out of five this this map spectacular just spectacular in the way that this uh was thought out how everything's kind of laid out just di to be different but at the same time um has kind of a familiarity to it um I don't know. It's just, it's just, all the all the farms seem to kind of fit well with themselves, and they kind of just work. Um, that's probably the just best way I can describe it. And outside of not having a actual cedar um, to start out with, or a planter, or something like that, other than that, like small potatoes, if you ask me. Very very minor like me kind of stuff this is a solid five solid five i love this love this map amazing job thank you so much for watching this map tour if you enjoyed it please show me by liking sharing subscribing following commenting doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows you're engaged with this channel enjoying the content and that being said that'll be a fantastic day take care